Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi version of The Grand Inquisitor. Let's get a better look at that packaging, shall we? And here is the packaging. Nice up and personal here. We of course have the contents of the packaging right there. Star Wars The Black Series logo right there. On the bottom we of course have the show or movie that they're from, which is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Grand Inquisitor right there. On the side, we have the mural painting of the Grand Inquisitor portrayed by Rupert Friend in the show. We, of course, have the Grand Inquisitor at the bottom there. On the back, we have a little bio about the show that is Obi-Wan Kenobi, because I believe this was one of the first ones that came out. So it came out when the show was still going on, or it came out right before, right after it wrapped up, something like that. And, of course, number nine from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Star Wars Black Series, not much up there. Window up top. And of course on the bottom we have all that legalese nonsense right there. And then of course the barcode for all you barcode hunters out there. But uh, all right guys, let's get this dude out of the packaging. All right guys, so here we are with the Grand Inquisitor here and Overall, I think this figure is just okay. There's just some stuff, deco choices that they made that I'm just not a huge fan of. But before we discuss all of those stuff, we're going to take a look at the accessories that he comes with, which he only comes with one, and you can see him proudly displaying it. It is uh, the lightsaber, and it, his hands are a little too finicky, so I'm not going to take it out, but... You can see what you can see what the handles got to offer there. Actually, come on, yeah, come on. See what I mean? There we are. There we are. You stay up there like a good boy, and now you get to see what the actual. Saber looks like, and it looks very accurate to Rebels. Uh, we've seen up close looks at his saber before, and this is the saber that the Grand Inquisitor uses in Rebels, so that's always good, keeping that continuity. And of course, both of the ports come out like so, and there is a place on the back of the figure, which will go into one of my gripes in a second, where there's these two little boxes right there, two little hoops. Then you just place it on there like so. And it looks pretty okay. Pretty okay, I'd say. It doesn't look the best in the world, but it could look better, I mean. But uh, anyway, let's get a look on the figure, I guess. The, the makeup, is not accurate at all. <laughs> it is purple and it's red. Even in the show, it's red. At least I'm pretty sure it is. If not, that's an L on them. But yeah, this is literally purple. Hasbro, what are you doing? But I mean, I mean, the outfit looks correct in terms of the portrayal for Kenobi, which I know some people were, I know some people were crying about how it's not exactly the animated Grand Inquisitor, and it's kind of like, well, you gotta lose some stuff in the translation. Even though I do agree the head should be elongated, because we've already seen Powins in Revenge of the Sith. But I mean, besides that, uh, the design's very good. I also like that they managed to paint in the pin there which he didn't have in Rebels because they didn't know he was going to be the Grand Inquisitor. He was just the Inquisitor in the first season. They only start calling him the Grand Inquisitor in the second. But um, the cape's nice. I like the cape. There's just a lot of folds and wrinkles in there that kind of, it's kind of whatever. And of course, I know they weren't going to do it, but there are uh, cogs, Imperial cogs, embroidered along the cloth right there. I know they weren't going to do it, but it's whatever. 
of course, get a look at the back of the figure. And I, of course, uh, popped the little thread holding that down. So that's a massive bummer, too. It's one of the only reasons the cape's still staying down is because the lightsaber's in there. But yeah, the head, I could take it or leave it. I mean, it's whatever. I believe the um, shoulder piece, it, the these uh, shoulder pieces uh, look straight like uh, the fifth brother's arms. I don't have them on me, but that's just what I'm thinking of at the moment. And then you, of course, have the belt. Looks very Vader-ish. And, of course, you got the plates on the bottom with the pants. You, of course, got the boots. Nice trim boots. But, I mean, his design... I always loved the Grand Inquisitor's design. I thought it was cool to have a Powin be a Darksider, since they already look very Darksidey. But it's just the fact that, like, this cape is horrible. <laughs> I hate the cape. Like... It makes it look like he has a hood when it, the when the saber isn't in there. And then when it is, and then when you try to put it in there, makes it very weird to get situated. Like I've got all this light and I can barely see what I'm doing. Like, come on. <sighs> but yeah, you got it there. You can shove it up under there. If you want to leave it like that. I'll probably leave it like that, even though I wish I could display the Grand Inquisitor with his lightsaber. I think I'm going to just stick it with that. And do something like the dark side behind his back or something. But, I mean, the cape really lets down the figure because the rest of the figure is actually really good. I like, I like this. I like this, but th this is, uh, ah, it's hideous. I don't like this. I don't like this either, but I'm mainly worried about this. You know what I mean? But, I mean, overall, I think it's fine. But uh, let's get into the articulation. We, of course, have double ball peg in the head. Hinges up that far, down about that far. He can turn his head all the way around. Same with the bottom there. He has very loose uh, shoulder shoulders with shoulder pads, which means he, he's not limited in his mobility. He has hinged shoulders that go that far. He goes up above that far, back about that far. And he does have the the um the armpit joints, even though you can barely see them. They're in there. And then he has the standard Hasbro pinless single jointed elbows that get the double jointed elbow uh range, which it looks pretty good. Then he has hinges, wrists that hinge back and forth, which is not how you do a lightsaber character. Then you, of course, rotate it, and I'm pretty sure it's the same with this side as well. Yep. That's a bummer, too. No, uh, roll the dice hinge to, uh, to, like, point the saber or anything, especially since the Grand Inquisitor is a fencer. It would make more sense to have a... Even though he never pops his saber in Kenobi, but, like, whatever. He has the abs. Move that far forward. He moves that far down. And that far back. He has standard McFarlane... Not McFarlane. Hasbro legs right there. He has thigh swivel right there. Nice forwards and backs as well. Single jointed knees right there. Not as good as double jointed, but pretty good. And then we of course have a oh, swivel as well at the knee. And then you have hinge down and up and ankle rotation like so. And here's the Grand Inquisitor 
with all of the Inquisitors I currently own. We of course have the Fifth Brother, which the review for him can actually be found on the channel in the Star Wars playlist that I have on my channel somewhere. And then we of course have the Second Sister from Jedi Fallen Order here. And I am looking to get the others when I find them. I'm going to be getting, um, I'm planning on getting the fourth sister and third sister, even though the third sister is a very controversial, uh, character in the Star Wars, uh, mythos, but you gotta complete the display, right? And of course, here he is next to his boss from the same show, the Vader from Obi-Wan. I love this Vader design, probably my favorite Vader design. Nice mix of the Revenge of the Sith design, the, um original trilogy, A New Hope, all of that. Nice mix. Love it. And just because I love Rebels so much, I had to put him next to Kanan. It's, he's the only Rebels member of the Ghost crew I have, but uh, I could totally see doing some uh, ACBA of like their final fight on um, whatever ship they're on in the reactor. That would be something cool and to see. the Grand Inquisitor doing what he does best with his fencing stance right there. Doing absolutely fantastic. But overall, what do I think about this figure? I think he's a perfectly fine body. I mean, he definitely... He definitely looks cool. I'm not gonna lie. I would... And he's one of my favorite characters... He's one of my favorite villains in uh, Rebels. But, I mean... That cape, man. That cape causes me so much rage that it equally cancels out what's going on here. Because, I mean, you've... And also, the markings on the face are absolutely an abysmal. His tattoos are red, not purple. That's not red. But besides that, it's a pretty alright figure. Articulation's fine. He's a well-posable figure. The saber's good. It's just that cape and the... I'm just going to keep going on and on about how much I dislike how much of a frustration it is to deal with the cape and also to look at the face tattoos when you know it should be a different color. But I give him a six. Like, he's a good figure. It's just there's a there's core stuff that bring him down where it's just like, is it even really worth it? Like, but uh, of course, what do you guys think about him? Tell me what you think about the Grand Inquisitor Black Series figure in the comment selection doubt section down below. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Just tell me what you think. I love discussing things with you guys. It's my favorite part of the day. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, keep collecting, may the force be with you, and uh, be kind to one another out there. All right, catch you in the next video. Peace.